<laughs> they need to start. These are stats. I, I mean, the FBI doesn't have a. Unfortunately, they don't have a good database on people being yanked. That out does of bed. sound like something Trump would Dishes. actually start to look into. Be like, there are ghosts. Well, dude, how about when they released aliens on us in the middle True. of COVID? They're like, oh, by the way, there's aliens. Yeah. Don't worry about <laughs> it. Aliens are real. <laughs> and uh, yeah. that totally blew through a news cycle. Everyone yeah. was like, yeah, we know. Anyway, what's up with this fucking virus? And they're like, yeah, what's up with our, you know, the threat to our lives? Yeah. Like nothing, just aliens. Well, they're trying to say you. now Space Force is because of they've no like alien. We have to kind of deal with aliens on the sly right now. Oh, fuck. But if Trump <laughs> is dealing with aliens, dude, that would be yeah. that'd be sick if aliens were like they African immigrants him. who are just like Trump is a strong leader. True. <laughs> if if yeah, we always think of aliens of having like our values. They could just be like Indian dudes. They could be here for nudes. <laughs> <laughs> they they were like they need our resources. It's like now they're just beaming down like send us your bubs. <laughs> and they do love Trump. Indian dudes love Trump. It's, a lot of people don't know that. Yeah, Indian dude. Remember that stadium he had packed and he was like trying to. He's like actor Jambi Bajrani. <laughs> he was trying to like speak. Like, and they're like yeah, yeah, yeah. We know him. Yeah, I, and by the way, this is one of your. Uh, this is basically I'm using your logic on this. Mm-hmm. Like I talked to one Indian dude in an airport. I'm like, Indian dudes love Trump. Fair enough. An Indian dude was like, he is good at business. Like, it's terrible Indian. Really? Yeah, my Indian impression there was bad. That was I think fair I enough. lost my Indian. You think you lost it? Yeah, I think I used to be able to do it. If, yeah, man, if you don't use it. Unfortunately, the way to get into it, to like start practicing again, is you got to imitate a poo. Yeah, that's Which that's is the, the most racial thing you can say. That's the gateway. Indians. No, that's to the like gateway. work yeah. on your accent, you got to be like, <laughs> Thank you. Come on, get Yeah, you like, have to. And that's the worst. You know, sure, you can't do it. You can't just launch shame into on it. the Simpsons. By shame the way. on the that's shame. disgusting. Disgusting. But you're absolutely right, dude. You can't launch into a, you know, you can't launch into a good Indian yeah. accent without. You have to practice a doing you Simpsons. Gotta garner. You got. You got to bring him in your head and figure it out. Yeah. And then you can go from there. True. To Trump is a good leader. <laughs> there you go. Working on it. That's pretty good. But yeah, anyway. the um, <laughs> oh, apparently they're going to – Indian dudes just got beat up by the Chinese pretty badly. That Sino-India yeah, whatever yeah, yeah. conflict. Which again, I, I'm still trying to figure out why Chinese people are called Sino, which is – I don't understand. How that, maybe that's just a thing for like the whole it's other – like Russo. Russo. Russian. Yeah, Russo, Russo Sino. Russo, Japanese. Well, yeah. I think it was – I think they're not allowed to abbreviate Chinese because it's like – <laughs> you just slap the S off. Kind of hey, you can't do that one. <laughs> Chinese Indian War. That's a good name, man. What's wrong no, with names? C- I think Sino is the reason. Is they, yeah. People probably say, no, that's not Chinese. It's Sino. Like, well, Sino is funny, too. Sino is kind of funny. funny. Cinnamon? Killed, they, they killed, <laughs> they killed uh, like 10 Indian dudes on the border thing. Yeah. What did they do? I don't know. Oh, is that the one you were telling? They're like throwing rocks. That's when they were. It was. It was. It was genuinely. At first, it was yeah, just fisticuffs. In like neighborhood fights. It was just fisticuffs. Yeah. And then they got into like London stabbing territory. So it's like I don't. I don't know if they shot somebody or what, but yeah, it was ten. Ten Indian guys Who do you died. Think took it there. Who do you think the Chinese dudes versus the Indian? That's. It's kind of hard. What Indians are we talking about? Uh, are we talking about the border. It's the border of India. Okay. Oh, wait, what Indians or what Chinese? What, people? Yeah, never mind. It's I was the, being racist against Muslims. Oh, you thought it was like they tend to the London stabbings kind of put it in my head. Oh, okay. Muslims love to just hop out, stab. stab. Really? And, and, well, that's because they can't really get guns in London. So they'll stab. So yeah, they just hop out. Just start poking. Get you a good one. What are the stats on stabbings in London? I don't. Know. See, I don't. I don't. I don't talk race and crime unless I know the stats, dude. True. I, hear you. <laughs> I apologize. I want to apologize to all our British dude, Muslim Val, listeners. Val, Val right now. Apologize. Val right now. Humbly, Val. I'm fucking, dude, look, I'm not going to talk. This is time for me to listen. Sure, my bad. I'm just going to spend some time. We were going to do it. Ep- we should release the uh, the audio list episode as a vow for our silence. True. Be tight. They'd still see us being racist. They would, <laughs> they would more. <laughs> <laughs> They'd get us. Yeah. But yeah, man, the. Uh... Sorry. So the Chinese, this Sino got. They, 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 ten of them died, dude. So it's, it's, ten dudes? The fight over basically, it's I, it, honestly, it's like geopolitical king of the hill. It's yeah. just them being like, I'm pretty sure this is ours. And they're like, yeah. no, check out our map. And they're like, well, this map says it's mine. And it's they'll be weird. like, we have a map. I'll fight you for it. Yeah. I'll fight you for this beach. And they're like, dude, fuck off. This is ours. It, it's yeah, fucking yeah. insane. But yeah. They'll do what they did last time, which is like. Split the baby? Well, China won't. China, I don't think China fucks. I don't, yeah, I don't think China's backing down, dude. India and Pakistan just did this, where they like killed each other a little bit. So then, mm-hmm. 
I think India bombed like a Pakistani base yeah. that Pakistan knew was coming secretly. So they just didn't have any troops in it. So then the Indian papers could be like, yeah, we fucking blew up one of their bases for it. Call it even. And then the Pakistanis could be like, no one died. Yeah. To their people. I do wonder yeah, that. I wonder, I wonder if they're it. catching up in terms of having like the machinery of like, like super propaganda. Catching being, like, up to like just, us? Yeah. Just like bombing. We bases. might be catching up to them. Really? To the fucking Sino? So, yeah. Sino has been on. They, dude, we're trying to get to what they're doing. Oh, yeah. I think that's They're honestly, like I think totally. Right. Yeah. I mean, I, we've been propagandizing heavy, but yeah, they go hard in the paint with it, dude. Did you get into the. So this is actually kind of funny. They talked about. Um, they're it's weird you'll like read these articles that kind of like sort of praise china's response to covid where they're like well they have they have like netting people out of their cars yeah we're, <laughs> those fucking pool nets <laughs> were so funny somebody had like an easy pass and somebody would hop out with a pool net <laughs> yeah like a cartoon burglar <laughs> Just, ding, ding, ding. <laughs> well they'll, they'll be like well their system because i don't think I mean, I guess they have like a police force. Dude, like, them welding doors shut. Oh, dude, it's insane. Well, they this is what they're doing. Rules. They were saying like some of the Mao things pop back up. Like they were kind of not like they didn't say it explicitly, but like the the, the finer points of the Mao era. They were yeah. like because he had you would have like you know you have block captains and I don't know if you have that in New York and Philadelphia you have a block captain. You have like a self appointed guy who's like I'm in charge here. No, and they were saying know, from the Mao era on like every little like you know residential area like there'd be like four or five dudes who are on government payroll to be like citizen kind of citizen spies who are yeah. like living like your peer but like when shit pops off that's what happened there was just these dudes got reunited back into like i'm block captain and they're like yo this guy's sick this guy's sick and you all just net them net lock them away and then they can call they can call the communist party and be like we need more dudes down here and they can get more military but you have neighbors at all times hmm. So it's kind almost of, like instead of a police force, they have block captains. That's what I was saying. So it's, it was like it's called a uh, committee members. They'd have like committee members, which sounds almost like a sci-fi channel shit. But it's like no, they they always do. It's Soviet like, and communist countries. They love fucking committees. Yeah, dude. Chairs. <laughs> they love chairs and committees. <laughs> but yeah, so you'd have like four committee member yeah. type dudes who were like, when COVID pops off, like get in your house, and you're like, Frank, what's going on? Frank. Like, I'm the fucking committee member, motherfucker. Get in there. You're like, Frank, what's up with the... Oh, the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> pretty yeah, nu- that's a pretty like, nutty... Mind if I borrow your, uh, your pool skimmer? <laughs> it's like, why? <laughs> no, no, the deep one, not the one that <laughs> looks like a lacrosse, a goalie stick. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And they were kind of like, hey, this is stuff from... This is Mal stuff. This is Mal era stuff that, you know, it's it worked. Hey, say what you will about it. But it, and it's like, dude, what the fuck? Is that going to be a job now? Yeah. Just a... He, when there's Ew. a green room server, <laughs> there yeah. has to be a dude because he's an ass grabber. <laughs> oh, hold on. Wow, wow, Wes. Yeah, I knew it. I knew it. <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> yeah, timestamp that. Oh. Wow, wow, Wes. Oh, uh, <laughs> timestamp that. Say wow, wow. Which is so sick. Yeah. <laughs> he just started like two years ago. <laughs> the first weekend, he's like, ah. Yeah, come here. Oh. Yeah, ass grabbers are making Camps. a rise. It's fucking Trump. He won the Iowa caucus. Fascism comes in. Fascism. Now grab guys think the they can grab. They're emboldened. Pussies and ass. I've never seen so much racism in this country. Those guys Trump. probably don't even know the difference between a pussy and an ass, dude. You know how those guys hate fucking mm-hmm. and are gay. Yeah. You know, stuff They're gay that. and fascist and sexually <laughs> assault and uh, tiny uh, what dicks. else? Tiny dicks. Tiny dicks. Yeah, baby. <laughs> That's enough though. If I was a young man, they're saying I'd be like, oh, I love the lib- I love the libs. They're like gay, fascist, tiny dick. I'd be like, no, I'm not that. I love fucking. Or you could lean in and go full base. True. Go, yeah. I am gay. True. I am gay. I do have a small dick, and yeah, I am yeah. a fucking <laughs> Nazi, and I'm in fucking. <laughs> I'm in seventh grade. True. Blah, 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 blah. True. Yeah, there'd be no avoiding that, bro. Imagine. I'm I'm struggling to not fall completely into it. Can you imagine being in like high school when this was going on? Impossible. It'd be so fun, dude. You have especially the girls in your high school like crying. Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, you, you have to say the N word oh. to them and they cry. Yeah, that was pretty. It's been true word. for a while. Yeah, really? <laughs> I think pretty so. cool. cool. <laughs> Girls freak when you do that. Yeah, they don't like it. Like, dude, you're at the like, junior prom and they're like, I've been waiting for this. And you just go, now's the time. <laughs> yeah, true. I'm going to say it. I'm going to scream it in your face at the dance at the Emerald Cotillion. <laughs> at the Emerald Cotillion, I'm going to scream the N word. 
Just a What's silent that? drive over the prom. You're just fucking. <laughs> you know what I was thinking? <laughs> you look handsome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an all right Nazi. Right. I've been a Nazi this whole time, bitch. <laughs> you didn't even know it. <laughs> now I'm going to scream the N word at the prom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get kicked out of school. I'm not going to be allowed to go to college. <laughs> It's going to be hilarious. <laughs> and we've crowned the prom and prom king and queen. He just gets the mic and he just goes, "Yeah, sorry, everybody. And then Michael J. Fox hears it and goes, you know that sound you've been looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Michael J. Fox was the one saying it. Damn it. You got he, the ref. You got the reference. He travels back in time. Yeah, he travels back in time. Just so he can say it. Yeah. <laughs> <Yeah>. From. <laughs> They got a remake Back to the Future with Kramer. <laughs> he fucking blew it, bro. Mm-hmm. He blew it, dude. I'll I tell was, you what. I was, he had I his was right there, moment. Bro. You passed the test. <laughs> I was close to doing it. <laughs> he had his Wait, what do you mean? <laughs> was mean, this an African American? No, film? but if you No, I'm just joking, oh. obviously. Yeah. But I was spazzed. I spazzed and True. I would never say that word into a microphone, but I was in bad spirits that night. True. Yes. The devil got a hold of me. I don't know what I'd do. Yeah, whisper in your ear. I'll say, say it, son. <laughs> this will make all your problems go away. Yeah. All your problems can go away. <laughs> That's, dude, waking up from that blackout of just pinching asses in the green rooms. Yeah. Mud on. Curious as to who that was. Mud on, dude. That's a, yeah. It's top secret. Especially, it's funny because it's a comic. I would have never expected that. Oh, it's one of the good ones. Yeah. <laughs> it was no, good, I don't think it was like a ultra lib, not outwardly a good, good one. Not a sir, good boy. No, but it was. It's like just a quiet. I guess a guy who doesn't drink that much. Yeah, but it's crazy to get drunk and be like, I'm just grabbing people's asses. So I gotta stay in the pocket at all times. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I, just, I get drunk all the time. That's not really a worry. I know. I'm, I'm never like I'm gonna yeah. get hammered and fucking start grope. I'm gonna grope some of these <laughs> yeah. women. At, I'm gonna grope some gonna female assaulted. comics yeah, that's, here. That's like ultra religious family high school drunk stuff, where like you've never had alcohol in your life and you drink it when you're 17. You're just like, ah. <laughs> that's insane to bust that out as an adult. Hmm. But I mean, hey man, you can get it any had of to us. be done. You can get any of us. Yeah, any of us can drink enough alcohol where liquor. we will seize the buttocks of every female comedian. <laughs> just, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> what if you would have been like nice set and was like champion uh, like a football like a football nice one, set champ. one of one of them apparently was he went up and hugged the female comic and was like whoa <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> no <laughs> lord he, ever. he got like two or three he did a butt squeeze he hug. got the hat trick he got the hat trick <laughs> bro <laughs> He got no. you look crabby. a butt squeeze hog, first of all. Visually. He got the glut, dude. He got all five. The gluteus. <laughs> the gluteus maximus. Do you know that you know that? Five <laughs> goals? Five goals in a game. That's a glut. A glut. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Dude. How many times has that been done? Five? Uh oh my god. Fuck, I forget his name. There was a guy from Man Man, Man United that did it. Oh, did did you see the fucking Manchester United, yeah, absolutely of dreadful. Of <laughs> hey, were you watching that? Really? Come on, Manchester United. <laughs> oh, they're doing the game. No one can watch. beat Manchester United. <laughs> I can't. Uh, do I did watch the game. Though. I've been watching them a lot lately. Visually, just going. In. I haven't seen that since like 1991, dude. Just a full double hug. Yeah, it's like little kids slow dance. Yeah, that's crazy. crazy. <laughs> yeah, T's and P's, dude. To everyone affected. Yeah. Everyone affected by that tragedy. He's True, stalled. including the fucking gunman, dude. The gunman needs help. T's and P's, bro. That's a rough fucking fork in the road. <laughs> Just chilling. Like, I hope the show goes well. I hope my, yeah, I have, my career's going well. I hope things are, you know, I finally made it. We're here. Uh-oh. He might come back stronger. He's going to take some time. He's going to be like, what, I get canceled? True. <laughs> yeah. Or you go, that might be, ther- it might be a therapy piece. Come out and be like, dude, I finally realized. Yeah, there was, that that's your option. Yeah. I, that's what Channel Five News guy did. What, what was his crime? Beast. He, uh, I'm just he saying, was just pretty being pleased a pussy to girl. girl. Yeah, he was doing uh, pretty pleases till they gave him kisses. He was doing pretty pleases. I think that's what I got. I <laughs> yeah, think that's what too. I took from it. He would like invite girls to his hotel room, and then they'd come and kiss him, and he'd pretty please until they'd give him a blowjob or something. Okay. And then he was, like, you know, I'm, I'm monster, exactly how everybody's yeah. ever monster, yeah. ever gotten head <laughs> <You> ever <know>? <laughs> asking <laughs> and then receiving permission and then doing it. 
But yeah, he had to go. He went to sex therapy and now he's allowed to make YouTube videos again. He was a sex addict? I mean, that's what he had to claim to get the audience to support him. Again, and is he an anchor? He's the um, no, all, gas, all no gas, no breaks. breaks kid. Oh, okay. He just did yeah. the Kendrick he's actually good. one. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's really, he's really good. good. He was, he was, getting, yeah, he was just, begging for I enjoy his sword. work and then he got in trouble for... Pretty pleasing. Getting ahead. Pretty pleasing is a good fucking terminology for yeah. you. <laughs> Come on. I can't just sleep. Pretty please. Yo, like pretty for real. Please. Please. Cherry on it's going to hurt me if you stop. <laughs> dude. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to get blue like, balls. Like, hold on. Just just touch it. Like, dude, feel how hard it is. <laughs> just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that one got me. <laughs> I've hit that pretty please. <laughs> with a cherry on top. Yeah, like, I, I, like, I'm cool. It's like top. it's so hard. Just tell you, it's fucking crazy right now. <laughs> I, like, it fucking hurts. And <laughs> laying there sleeping. <sighs> <laughs> Are we actually not gonna? <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm fine. <sighs> Can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I will just give me a hug. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's just hug it out. <laughs> <laughs> Double butt squeeze. Double butt squeeze <sighs> hug. I mean, that's that's the reports I, I received. <sighs> I wasn't. I can neither. You know. Uh, true, true. I don't want to put anybody's names or anything. True, yeah, true. Yeah. But the double butt squeeze and getting fucking banned from a club is oh my god, dude. Lord, <laughs> <that's> disastrous. <laughs> oh, I did do a butt squeeze when I was a kid. Did you? I'm ashamed of that. How you young were you talking? When you a kid, when was, was like, like your aunt? <laughs> no, I was like a freshman in high school. It was just a pretty lady. I was walking you by. You butt squeeze a girl in, in school? No, at a party. I was just like. As I was walking, squeezing by, dude. I was like, when I, I've talked about this before, it was a really nice, but I was really drunk. I was like fourteen. What was the re- what were the repercussions of the bus squeeze? She said, "Did you just grab my ass?" And I went, "Yeah, sorry." And she's like, "It's all right." Well, that's all right. That's fair. Yeah. I used to watch the eighth grade boys squeeze the eighth grade girls' boobs, and they were in the recess yard. They'd all just do it, and I, I remember when I was well, like sec- last year. No, no. <laughs> When I was a second grade boy, I was oh, there younger. and just be like, oh, you can just grab girl's boobs. I'm like, that's what's up. And I grabbed an eighth grader's boob and she's like, get the fuck off me. And I was like, I'm so sorry. I'm... I totally thought that was completely okay. Yeah. <laughs> I saw the older dudes doing it and you kind of just laughed, but excuse me. Oh, when I do it, it's a problem. Okay. <laughs> when, I fucking, when a tiny Bitch. child was also, I was young enough to where she was probably like, oh, and I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> that fucking Lord of the Rings grab. Precious. Now I know. Boobs, now I know dude. that how creators were not allowed fucking to grab sick our boobs, dude. Oh, don't get me started. I know. Don't best. get me. I wish I had a woman here to free use. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. man, you better watch out. I might fucking start using you. <laughs> are you are you more into the free use bow, aspect bow, bow. where like I watched one of those and when I was in the hotel, some of them are like you're in trouble free use or is it just no totally... I don't like the you're in trouble free yeah use. okay so I saw the one I saw was the you're in trouble where it's, it's like... usually a mom and a stepdaughter yeah and uh, somebody's just fucking them and they just keep talking to each they other they keep doing their stuff yeah and uh, that's tough. I don't know what that is or why I like it but a lady getting fucked and like doing the dishes while talking to somebody is. Some, I do some I like which I, I I wasn't ready for. It is what it is. I understand. I've I for real thought that's what like being married was when I was younger. <laughs> I thought you just like kind of pushed your wife over and you're like sweet time for sex. I for real when I was a kid I imagined free that's use. What the Bible says pretty mm-hmm. much. The Bible agrees with free use. It does mm-hmm. for both sides too. By the way, they say no. a man's not allowed to say no. I swear to God, the Bible said mm-hmm. both parties. Man's not allowed to say no. Man has to give it up. If either Why? party woman wants has it, to submit to the husband. Yeah, but I think they make the exception for the pussy. I think they say like, "Yo, don't don't be a square on the other side." I'm gonna have to Google that. I agree. I believe you. I I, I could be wrong. It's like, a contradiction it, within the Bible, which I don't like. That true. I think. Mm-hmm. I mean, they're definitely they'd make that one exception. I ain't complaining. Uh, I'd like to be free used by a woman. You. Yeah. That'd be right. tight. That would be pretty just tight. Play video games, and she just. Nah, never mind. I'm, yeah, but my would your fingers not grip that ass? Could you hold the controller the whole time? Or would you <laughs> no, <laughs> true. You'd like to lay prone? Uh, Yo. Uh, lay prone and play Xbox and have someone free use your ass? No, <laughs> that's not what I want. <laughs> your fucking hairy ass. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 
<laughs> your mind's in the gutter. That, that, guy, that guy frees your ass in Don't that movie. Don't say that. <laughs> That's the last thing I need right now. Dad, help. Damn. Daddy. It looks like a crowd. Dad, my crowd work's not working. Help. Yeah. I'll be down there, son. Don't worry. Nobody's going to heckle my boy. Oh. Damn, and everyone he starts messed. kissing. <laughs> That would have been oh, a crop circle fucking, where he fucking went in. It would be like a crop circle. Just a ring of hair that gets pulled out by his fucking yeah. cl- powerful claws. <laughs> <laughs> My heart hurts. Uh, God motherfucking Yeah, damn. that's about it. That's Which, good. Uh, what are we at? Hour and three, Lemise? Uh, I mean, that's good podcasting, guys. That's, that's podcasting that's 101. Freaking podcasting. Oh, crap. We got to do the ads. Mm-hmm. Thank yeah. you. In my life. Yeah. They were. Yeah, dude. We were young. They were like five years older than us. Oh, my God. They were perfect specimens. It was unbelievable. Yeah. Just even to like bring me a fucking thing of water, I'd just be like. Call me a sweetie. Sit at the table. Talk to us for a minute. You're in high school, you know. too. So you're just like. Uh, yeah. Uh, hi. Uh. Yeah. Fuck. And you eat 30 wings, bread it, and you go, what the fuck? This place fucked me. Yeah. I deserve justice. I'll go to Hooters Wings with my friend Jared, who likes wrestling. We would go for pay-per-views. That's pretty sick. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. I saw Rampage versus Iceman at a Hooters. Did you really? <laughs> I saw Rampage Jackson knock out Iceman. That was back when I thought it was a good take. To see. I, I I like to pretend I was a better sports fan. I'd be like, boxing so much better than UFC. I'm more of a boxing fan. That's a good move, though. I and, Dude, I'm telling you, sometimes I like just catch UFC on TV and I get like bro, visually jarred. How about bare knuckle? They're doing bare knuckle. Why? Did you watch any of that? It was disgusting. Not the main. The main one Only was disgusting. Platinum Mike Perry, but yeah. the fucking Alvarez fight was Why disgusting. Are they doing that? Uh, some people argue that it's better. It's safer. Oh, because you're not getting bludgeoned you're, with pads over and over. Because you can break your hand easier, so you're less inclined to like throw as hard as. Whoever's saying that can. is not watching Mike Perry fight. <laughs> it's Joe Rogan. <laughs> well, they're wrong. It's the yeah. same argument. It's, it's the same it's, argument yeah. as uh, no pads football. No pad. No helmets football. Yeah. They're like, well, people actually use that helmet to hit. More it's like, yeah, dude, cuts, though, those guys are psychos. They're still going to, if you're at a professional level, yeah. you're going to hit as hard as you can. Yeah, true. Those dudes, bare knuckle boxing, were going as hard as they could. And the raw knucks cut you Raw knuckles, really everybody's face was destroyed. Oh the last fight, God, Luke Rockwell man. got his fucking tooth knocked in yeah, half. Yeah, he, he, he was just like, all right, I'm done. His front tooth just right in half. His lip was like Don't they not pay off. those guys that much, too? For a bare knuckle fight, I bet you're not making a lot so of money. That's what I'm saying. I, I heard it was, what is it for like a regular, not like. A starting UFC contract is usually like 12 and 12, I think. 12, 12 grand per to fight. To show. 12, 12 to fight, 12 to win. win. So 24, 24 grand. Win. That's like the beginning if you fight, contract. Yeah, the beginning. And if you fight four times a year. That's not bad. Yeah. Sponsorship well, deals. Bare really. knuckle, I don't know. That was a big event. You fight four surprised. times a year. Yeah, what, like. Forty eight thousand bucks. You gotta no. pay the gym and the manager too. Oh, if you though. win, if you fight and win yeah. four times a year. If you just fight four times a year and lose, you'd get paid a janitor's wage. Yeah. Just get punched in the face. Yeah. Well you fought. You oh, but also you do have like the you know, the dreams alive within you, yeah. which is nice. You know? And you're in like excellent fucking shape. Yeah. And you can go to a bar yeah, and true. fight everybody. Yeah, true. And everyone's like sweet. Yeah, that fucking rules. I'll take that back. I'm just saying, like, because if they're not paying, if that's not their main, that's their main thing is UFC. Bare Knuckle is probably not their main. No, those thing. were all so those former guys like, UFC guys. Oh, oh man. So they got paid this, more. So it's like a CT. It's like a CTE farm though, because you get dudes CT'd up enough, and you're like, bro, fuck the gloves, and you're like, yeah, dude, fuck the gloves. Yeah, Join the Kumite. <laughs> oh. I mean, it was. It's really hard to watch, oh. especially the Albert. Yeah, like the it's a clone army. Perry dude. Rockhold fight was a little more. Don't get me wrong. It was still very violent. But who the fuck was Alvarez fighting? I forgot this. Chad Mendez. Mendez. Oh, yeah. Chad Money Mendez. And they both just stood and threw, like, knocked each other out, Ugh. got up, knocked the other guy out. Like, any jab, every jab looked like the worst punch you've ever seen. Oh. It's a bare knuckle jab. Dude. Like, oh, it's got to fucking, fucking kill. And you could hear it. it was, <laughs> it's like, <laughs> yeah, it was rough. That's fucked, man. I mean,. It's going to do well. That was hard to watch. It. Yeah. No, that's a tough one so to I'm watch. I'm saying I'll just like catch it. I'll be like sitting somewhere. And I'll see it on TV. And be like, Jesus. Yeah, every once in a while there's a UFC fight where a dude's so bloody and you're like, holy yeah. shit. Exactly. Who was the guy? Uh, he was like a legend towards the end of his fight, like a month ago. He was like just on top of the guy, like, ah, just 
put his blood in his oh, face. Oh, that might have been Rockhold, I think. It might have been Rockhold. Yes, maybe? yes, it was, dude. Yeah, yeah. Jeez. Yeah. He, he got. He was so bloody that, like, while he was on top of him, he was just like rubbing his blood, rubbing his blood all over. I didn't have nightmares about that later. <laughs> It's a bloody guy. Guy you whooped was on top of you, like, yeah, you have to kill me. Yeah, it's such a shame. Yeah, damn, it's so cool. It's cool. I think the bros got paid for bare knuckle. Oh, nice. This says it's likely over six hundred k that Chad Mendes. Oh, because there are already UFC stars. Yeah, they they really want to get the big names so they could sell pay per views and shit. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I can't believe the slap is done. <laughs> is it I'm done? I'm very glad. I'm done with the, the slap. slap. Was rough, dude. It's so silly. I you want to see. I want to see them. Sorry, I've I've seen clips. It was pretty they terrible. They got like two grand. I think, yeah, they got like five hundred. Yeah. But those guys were recruited out of like. I want to see people getting hit by cars. Parking. I want to see guys just stand there in front of cars and get run over. Dude. You can go. <laughs> there's there's events like that at rodeos. Oh no! They put like eight guys. You can't leave your circle. What? Whoever the last one standing is wins. And the bull just comes out and fucking oh. runs straight into people. Oh. Yeah. That's kind of nice, though. They put people in those, uh, like, spherical. What are those? Those Oh, like, the balls. Yeah, and they Did run with bulls. Did you see that bulls. video? Did you ever see the video where a car hits a guy in one of those fucking balls and he flies yeah, up in the yeah, air? Yeah, I've seen that. Shit was fucking cool. There's one where, yeah, they put them all in those bubble suits and put a bull in there, in the ring. Fuck. It's pretty fun. That's kinda, that is kind of fun. Yeah. I can get into some bubble play. I like that. Give me a no bubble, dude. Let me bop around to that thing. That'd be fun. We should destroy this apartment that way. Bubble play? We should all get bubble play and just sprint into each other. <laughs> I was going to say. <laughs> Fuck this whole fucking apartment up. Money Mendez actually got 200K, not 200K 600K. 200K for that? Yeah, him Still. and Eddie both. That's what's nice. Up. Yeah, it's sick. Slopping each other up a little bit? Yeah, that has to hurt today. Probably still hurts. That's a those those were some really. Yeah, you got a fucking fight with a professional fighter and he punched you in the face. Yeah. Do you think they call each other before and like, bro? Or you think they they just like I'm gonna kill you? They did not like take these, dude. God dang it, dude! I'll show you as soon as we're done. I'll show you that. It's... Jesus, I'd be doing these fucking. Yeah, you turn into WWE. Yeah, <laughs> real quick, dude. I saw a great highlight of a kid with Down syndrome. Do you ever see that with Shawn Michaels? Where he gets into the thing. It's oh, all, that's that was the best, awesome. dude. He's trying to help Shawn. I saw the HBK. He's like, swirl. fuck Stone Cold, dude. Stone Cold's <sighs> beating up HBK. I'm getting in there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let this happen. <laughs> that was awesome. I saw that. Dude, it was... it's my favorite shit in the world. I was laughing thinking about Stone Cold having to be like, I know, and be like, like get him the fuck out of here. Yeah, he's probably, it's probably so hard being like, man, that's so sweet. Yeah. That's so nice. There's, yeah, there's, obviously, it's, I love the kids with Down syndrome that are like wrestling. It's the best. It's real. Yeah. That's the bad guy. It's awesome. Yeah. It's fucking awesome. The storm in is just like, man, that's the If you had Down syndrome going to a wrestling match would be fucking crazy, dude. If you thought, if you're like, oh, he's going to bury him. No. <laughs> <laughs> also, what a fucking thoroughbred to break through into the match. Dude, you're just you could get fucked up. Stone Cold could stunner you, dude. You're not afraid of Stone you're Cold. You're not afraid of like, dude, Shawn Michaels is in trouble. I gotta help. <laughs> I'm climbing the barrier. Completely selfish. Selfless. And dude. then dude, him talking shit on the way out. He was walking up Shawn Michaels was like helping him up the ramp and he was like, Fuck you, fuck you. Like <laughs> Awesome, dude. Yeah, that's pretty great. Just going and being like, fuck it, I gotta fight Stone Cold right dude, now. I gotta do it, dude. This son of a bitch, dude. <laughs> <laughs> fuck, man, what a fucking legend. You'd be yeah. so proud. I imagine how proud you'd be of your boy. You'd be like, be, bro, what the fuck are you dude. thinking you're gonna take on Stone Cold, bro? Dude. What the fuck are you thinking? I gotta find the account. There's a kid with Down syndrome that comes out to his parents and talks shit, and it's so nice. Oh my god! Comes out, he's mad about like, oh, there's one. He says he's like, I'm gonna call John Cena. <laughs> he's mad at his family. He's like, I'm gonna call John Cena. He's gonna come beat you up. <laughs> <laughs> they put up like a taxidermy bobcat or something in the living room, and he was like, Get that the fuck <laughs> out of here. He didn't like it. Or I'm calling Cena. <laughs> <laughs> It's the sickest shit possible. <laughs> Dude, how are the video I was showing you all? The kid with Down syndrome, his family gets him going. Oh, he so sweet. They're just dancing. Oh, Start awesome. playing rap, and they're like, we, we can get him. But everybody in the kitchen's dancing, and he's like, and finally he's like. <laughs> 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 they're like, let's go, dude. <laughs> it's awesome.
<laughs> yeah, that's the move. He hits the stinky leg on. Does he really? Yeah, he for real hits the stinky oh. leg. Yeah, that's so fucking sick, dude. Getting escorted out by Michaels after trying to save him is. He was, dude. I he need to be real. held back from. There Stone should Cold. be like a type of purple metal type of thing for that. Yeah. Of going out like. Those are high stakes. That guy stakes. was ready to sacrifice everything. <laughs> he was like, I will fight Stone Cold Steve Austin right now. For the now HBK. To help HBK. He's in trouble. So you're talking chairs. Whatever it takes. Talking metal chairs. The rattlesnake. Bottle? You get hit with a fucking bottle You're in ready your to fight the rattlesnake. I'll never be that brave. And you I'll also, never be that brave in my life. You also respect Stone Cold. Like, true. to that kid, that's real. Yeah, true. Stone Cold is killing everybody. Yeah. I, I mean, can, I, I mean, do if it. he went at, like, Sean McMahon, I'd be like, I mean, yeah. you know, whatever, dude. Yeah. But yeah, not Stone Cold. Any of the Green Street Posse, really. <laughs> true. <laughs> They were such dorks, dude. They pissed me off. I used to hate the Green Street Posse. When I yeah, was Main Street. Yeah. Main Street, my bad, Main Street. From That's Greenwich. Crazy. I used to hate the Main Street Posse, bro. I was like, fucking guys, dude. All right. God damn. Let's, I want to show you this bare knuckle boxing. Let me see it. Let's check it out. Where um, are we at now? Oh, we're over now. Um, show me the Show me the bare knuckle. Yeah, it's tough to watch, dude. I'll check it out. I got a bare knuckle brawl tonight. Yeah. Headed this way. All right. I was thinking about you getting when we were talking about those. When you were talking about those big inflatable balls, I started thinking yeah. about one of those and laughed, dude. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, come to my show in Pittsburgh and Cleveland. Ooh, Pittsburgh yeah. and Cleveland. Come on, man. Yeah, Denver, please. Come. Pittsburgh. We can do anything. Pittsburgh will be nice. Yeah. Please come to Denver. It's next the theaters are too big. I shouldn't have got such big theaters. I fucked up. Oh, still. Yeah, the one. Yeah. Whatever. Sold it out once. Done. It's yeah. a bonus round, bro. It is the bonus round, but I didn't need the bonus round. Yeah. Take the bonus round. Push yourself to your limits. See where see where it really at. See your edge, dude. Yeah. Find your edge. I'm at the fucking. Wade, thanks for being here. Pleasure to be here. So, how did you get your start in this journal game world? Well, uh, sort of a while back, I was at my son's t-ball game, and uh, a couple of the dads from the other team were mouthing off, and uh, I just said right there I said let's see let's see who's got the stronger stream and I took him right into the nearest John the Porter John and uh, had at it I was hitting the back of that wall so loud dogs were barking <laughs> uh, do you uber here or do you drive uh, not a bike five? I live uh, right down the street nice third DUI <laughs> <laughs> you have any advice for uh, the youth out there that might want to step into your shoes uh, number one, I'd say avoid 676 uh, Friday nights early because they've been setting up a ton. <laughs> <laughs> He's talking about how much pussy he gets. Is that definitely straight guy? Oh, the guy wearing Before a, he even talks? The guy wearing a houndtooth <laughs> leggings suit? Jimmy said that Michael said this was a first I don't believe person. a word of anything in this documentary. Okay, 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 okay Wendy. Yeah, just like Michael Jackson in the audience clapping. That is the greatest. Oh, you think he was going to side go that side? I swear to you, cause I, was, I was about to say the words. I go, how could they be clapping for O? Oh. Yeah. yeah. That guy's dressed like Sergeant Pepper. Yeah, they, they, really do. Fucking they, dress like, yeah. they dress like fucking Dominican warlords. Uh, I don't know. Is he, at a, is he in the FAU band? Why is he, <laughs> is he going to drum line? Uh -huh. Why is he... Okay. What's up? <laughs> ah, okay. What's up? Oh, trick daddy before it's a trick daddy. Daddy performance on Wendy Williams. He just comes out late. Aha! What's up? Shut up. To the big domes. Shut up. They are a hot couple. To the little boys that got fucked. Shut up. Shut up. All I'd be thinking is this guy's talking with sheer jealousy in his voice. He bought him all the clothes, told him to shop for whatever he wants. He took out the box of jewelry. Dude, when you watch the. Oh, Shane's getting hammered. It's going to be a problem. Dude, the Elliot. Wait, I want to go back to the subject. We had the Elliot Page subject up. <laughs> did you see in her statement? Did you see in Bud Light twelve Dave, right now? Focus on me. Did you see in the Elliot Page? Sure. He said, "Yeah, uh, you know what? Touch your dick, dude." I can't believe you give me a transphobe in front of me like that. <laughs> Can you say it as a retard? I, I was pretty close to him already. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. You give me a transphobe. Very serious thing that you True. shouldn't even make jokes about. Mm -hmm. No, this isn't a joke. Everybody a in scenario. the last three years that has changed genders yeah. is telling the truth and they really feel that way and they don't even want attention at all. They I don't even want attention one bit. Buddy, 
I, I'm going to let Shane ruin his next job I'm right now. Yeah, yeah, let him go. Yeah. Let I'm him rooting go. for all of them to Delete this their... episode. <laughs> I want I'd like to the trans out of this episode. <laughs> you know, this was something else. I, Maybe uh, when they, whenever they find this episode and they're like, man, that guy's a piece of shit. But I even fucking trans out of that. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to, I identify as not a piece of shit, actually. <laughs> I identify as, <laughs> I identify oh, as, I'm not racist. Racist. Oh, I identify as a, as a humanitarian. Yeah, like, they're like, yeah, you're racist. It's like, actually, you're going to be shocked to find out I actually identify as not racist. <laughs> yeah. I've transitioned. I was racist, but now. I identify as crazy left. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Extreme left. It's so weird. I transitioned from being racist like five seconds Wait, after you, you started calling me out what? for that. Yeah, no, yeah I, I started transitioning. Racist. I'm in mid-transition. Are you going to judge me because I can't afford a full transition <laughs> fast? <laughs> you going to dead name me like that? Bring up these episodes? <laughs> you going to dead podcast me like this? <laughs> good for Teddy, her. dude. He fucked both of you guys? Oh, yeah. He got me good. How'd he get you? Didn't pay me for the work I did. Told me he was sending me home because I wasn't bringing the fire on his microphone. But it was because <laughs> it was because earlier that day. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Were That's you on you? Were dude. you or were you not bringing the fire on his? Did microphone? you bring the fire? I did well, actually. <laughs> did you did bring, bring the, the fire? fire? <laughs> I, I don't know if I brought the fire, <laughs> but I did well. Uh, so I, did, I, did, I, did, I did okay. No, dude, it was it was fire. I would say it was me. It was me. It was me. And don't laugh at the name. He's a very funny guy. Cool Bubba Ice. I was opening for Cool, cool Bubba, Bubba Ice. Ice. I was opening for Cool Bubba now Ice. He, now, Cool Bubba Ice breathed the fire. Oh, he brought the fire. But Cool Bubba Ice, but the way this guy ran the show, he was such a shitty, like, dude. He's the owner of the club, and he would, like, host and do 30-some minutes up front and then, like, 15, 20 in between. It was, like, brutal. So I actually did well because of the timing of the show. Cool Bubba Ice actually had a rougher time because, like, it was the crowd was already there for, like, two plus hours. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. he was getting a shitty time. He's hilarious, Cool Bubba Ice. Um, but he, uh, the second day we were there, there was a padlock on the door in the middle of the day. <laughs> and it was like that they owed like 15 grand in rent or something. And so they, uh, they sent me home and said it was good. I was going to bring the fire to the mic post because he couldn't afford to pay me. What was it? A mix of time? Uh, that's so funny. Immediately funny. forgot it. Actually, I, I'm curious about this. I have a, uh, speaking of my bay, do you, so if your bay was like, we have to share our location. Never. Start? You won't do it. No. See, I do do it because it's like at first I was bitterly opposed to it. Then I, I'm. Dude, I, you want you want big sister looking? Big sister looking? Big sister, <laughs> big sister. Big sister for sure. You want big sister looking in? Here's the trade off though. Nah. Again, it's a well. First of all, you know, keeps your boy honest because it's like there's literally it's like you can't. You don't do anything like. I know. Shady. Exactly. But I'm also, I'm basically like a Uyghur right now, dude. The, the fucking, there's a full, I have full surveillance. I literally yeah, can't. Yeah, you're in a surveillance state. It'd be easy, it would be easily like, because her whole thing is like, I get so nervous. I need to know where people are at, blah, blah, blah. I was like, whatever. So I thought about it first. I was like, absolutely That's not. a psyop, by the way. Go ahead. You would think. That's a bay trick. I guess, yeah. But it, the, other bay, thing, trick, the other dude. thing, too. You're is, a youngling. Here's what, it, no, no. Here's what it's good You've for. You've been tricked. No, look. Here's what it's good for. When you want to fap. I've got caught fapping a lot of times, dude. It's guaranteed fat bliss, dude, because you just go, oh, I got plenty of time. Damn. Can I blast? If kids have that with their parents. Oh, for fapping? If you, like, dude. Oh, it's, it's Think guaranteed. of the risk we ran every time we fapped as young men being like, they just left for the grocery store. People don't understand. Dude, if, if somebody forgets a wallet or a purse and comes right back done. in the house. You're, you're done. Like, Your whole sexual history changes in a blink yeah. of an eye. It's like you were just watching TV. Why are you in the computer room right when I left? Yep. Oh. Wanted to search something. I mean, imagine getting caught like hands down by your parents. You didn't. You never got caught. I never right? got caught undefeated. No, did you ever get caught? One time, yeah. You got <laughs> caught. One. You got caught. Shrek one. Yeah. That would happen. One time. Run it down. <laughs> Not like I just like didn't know anybody was home. I was just chilling in my room, you know, throwing it down. And throwing it down. You boom shock a lot. Yeah. <laughs> you, were, you were heating up. Yeah, you were heating up. <laughs> so what, you got caught, like it you hit me wet. with the scene. You got caught like dick on hand. Were you lubed? Like, like was, you have? Did you have materials you were looking at? What was going on? Well, how, how old were you? Just you know, I was curious. probably like <laughs> fifteen, sixteen. Hot, Hot. the hottest <laughs> age. Yeah, <laughs> you were a cutie. What was your body composition at the time? Oh, I was I, I was fat. I was playing football. I was a big boy. Okay, Hot. awesome. The hottest way to get caught jerking off is laying down, fat. standing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Oh, I did get caught once. A Jamaican caught me. A Jamaican man. Not by your parents a though. Bumba clot saw me with my fucking. A rude boy walked in. And I was ass naked, holding my dick asleep. But you're asleep. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Forgot about that rude boy. <laughs> Even though knocky walking, he cut me. <laughs> 
Oh, hey, Goody, put that thing away. <laughs> so you were standing upright or laying down? No, laying down in in, in the bed. Had the had the uh, the iPod. You're getting the Rudy. The iPod Touch. <laughs> had the the porn on the iPod Touch. You know, oh, was this the family's iPod Touch or yours? No, mine, of course. Right, fair of course. enough. It's kind of yeah. They asked for that. <laughs> and what's it called? Yeah, just didn't know anybody was there. My dad just was like, went, my dad was just like, opened up the door. And it didn't didn't knock or anything. Just fucking threw the no blanket. knock warrant. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just fucking threw the blanket on top, and I just looked at him, and my dad was just like, "Oh, you know? he hit was, you with the eyes." He was just like, and I was like <laughs> "Wait, hold on, what was he like?" He was just like, "Like, like horny?" No, just like, <laughs> like he was horny also. No, <laughs> like, feels good, doesn't it? <laughs> He's like, "Yeah, that's pretty good, champ." No, I just like fucking like really, man. Like he gave you like you seriously. Jer- yeah, he's like you just like jerking <laughs> off. Like <laughs> wait, somebody be mad at someone for jerking off. Like you open the door, just like. Really? I mean, dude, oh, it's fuck. like you really made me have to. Like it is yeah. funny to come in and someone just throws the covers under themselves and retreat, just fucking. <sighs> so you just went full fucking. No, I just wait. covered up my dick. I was just like I was still like I could see him. Like face was exposed. So you weren't like doing the old circuit. You weren't fapping under the blanket. You were like. Out of the blanket like a romance. Did he novel, see? Bro. Did he see your penis? I don't know. I don't think so. So the door opened. You pulled up, and then what was your what look did you give your dad? I was just like, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you start like sucking your thumb. Was that the end of it, or did you, like, he? Talk? Yeah, he just like walked, shut the door, left. <laughs> well, it's good you weren't doing anything fucking weird. Yeah. Like fifteen or sixteen, you can do something weird while you're jerking off. Actually, back then, you, I've kept it. Yeah, pretty. I've never done. I, first off, I've never done anything I'm like, weird. I'm like, I'm I've never now. done anything what, what weird. We, I know you. What? What the? You fuck do, do weird I do? things. Do I, you see the, you're in the butt you play. See the denial. You see, <laughs> you see the, the butt play. You ever put anything in your butt? No, never did. Not a big fan of it, dude. Not a big fan. How would you know you're not a fan? Because I tried once. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. I rest my case. <laughs> That's how you cross-examine. Why? You're not into that? No. I don't know. I've never even... Yeah. The closest I've come has been itching my ass. Then yeah. occasionally you slide something in there. Wow, see, what's go- see what's going on there? <laughs> Give a little one-knuckle. I'm yeah. a fucking track one knuckle guy. I don't think I don't think I have the courage to like fully finger myself. I think I've like tried to cross the threshold, and I was like, I'm not about this, bro. You're not about it. I don't have this. I don't have it. That's the to, Cali like, in you. Fully. I'm more of a Texas ass. guy. Ain't nothing going up there. <laughs> I'm you, more of a Texas guy. So what do you do? Nothing with the just, ass. Just accuse your friends of playing with their ass and be like, I don't oh, do yeah. that guy. I've pointed fingers. <laughs> <laughs> That's your holster, just. You fucking dark gay. You the one who does gay stuff. It's a quick draw. <laughs> back to back, ten seconds. Okay. You and me do have quick draws a lot. Just like you're the one who's gay. <laughs> I got there quicker. So wait, when you fingered your own asshole, what was that like? While you were Jay now? No, I was just in the shower. I was trying to see. Oh, okay. All right. All right I was trying to all right, see all right, if all right. I was. I forgive it. that. I for- oh, but you were going into it. It was sexual. For curious sure. if it yes, was good. Sexual. It was definitely sexual curiosity. It was like, you know, I was like, do I am I into this? And I was just kind of like, that's fucking weird, man. Sure. Not even weird. If not, not like weird. Like, oh, you shouldn't do that. It was like, functionally, I was like, I'm gonna fuck something. I'm gonna fuck my ass up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'm gonna fuck my ass up for this. So that, that's get, what kept me. You're not gonna get torn. Yeah, I don't want to. That was that was the main thing. I was like, I don't want to fuck my ass up. Yeah. So, I got a feeling that somebody over there, those two weirdos, just played hard. Any of you two ever? Uh, no. Yeah, right. Boom. You, you, Shit. Lamar. Lamar? Here, here's the rule of thumb: if you go without a significant other, and I'm not imagining your guys' situations, if you go without a significant other for three years, you automatically play with your ass at some point in those three years. It just happens. No man champs a dry spell for that. That's <laughs> you're in a long dry spell. You're touching your ass. Maybe a point. 23 year dry spell. <laughs> <laughs> Part of me, I've 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 been in tr- I've been in trouble for exposing your sexual history before, Lemare. <laughs> I've, I've received complaints about that before, and I do apologize. Yeah. Uh, oh man, yeah. I, I, that's called me jacking off. Who huh? did? Dorian. Dorian. Dorian Deeds. Deeds. Deeds called me jacking off. What Where were you guys? What did he say? We were in Wilmington, North Carolina, in a hotel. We were we were antiquing all day, so you know I was tuned up. You were and what? We were antiquing all day. We were looking for antiques. 
Man, I fucking hate you and Dorian as a as a <laughs> duo doing <laughs> gay shit all the time, dude. You guys were antiquing. You were like, then, "Oh, we're road comics. We're gonna go to. We're gonna just yeah. scope we're the just scene. We're gonna up, try to buy yeah. antiques." Yeah, you guys are comedians in the car getting antiques. Yeah. <laughs> and then yeah. you, were, Dorian, we went back to the hotel. Dorian said he was gonna go to the Target. I was like, "Oh, I got thirty minutes. I can crank one out right now." That's fair. Yeah, but that's that's his bed, honest. Yeah, honest. yeah, yeah. What happened? He didn't go to the Target. He came back and like. 10 minutes. Forgot something? <laughs> no, he just he went just... to the target and came back. True, he only ever is after like snake pellets or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've been to Walmart with him. He was pretty, had a pretty singular focus on the snake cream. <laughs> so he caught you. He came in. What was his reaction? <laughs> he was like, uh, uh, uh. He, was, he didn't, he just. So he started coming. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like I pulled my pants up real quick. So not, I was uh, I was on I pulled the elastic waist, really elastic waistband, <laughs> <laughs> undoubtedly an elastic waistband. <laughs> was, was very swishy pants indeed. I pulled him up. It wasn't these, but I pulled him up, and then uh, he was like talking about Dorian stuff, and I was trying to get him to keep talking about the stuff he was doing because then he'll forget. But he noticed that that was weird, and he looked at me. And- Guys, he- we're on the pot. The pod's on. Go. Oh, fuck. Oh, cool, 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 cool. Oh, yeah, this is tough. I so usually, what's like? How do you Matt. go about? I usually up. just sit here. You usually have Matt. And me and Matt, Billy can make a Matt though. Matt gives me <laughs> ideas. Matt. Matt just talks, and I get to sit here and go, "What?" <laughs> but without Matt, I'm just. I gotta find. Why are you picking your nose like a little kid? What? <laughs> the finger hiding it. The, <laughs> well, I was getting that nose. The place I was getting it. It was on the inside um, of the top left nostril. Dude. Doesn't matter. That's fine. Inside left. How do you get it? <laughs> but like you were like covering it up. Your thumb's big as fuck to pick your nose with. Yeah, tiny you should just be able to pick your nose too. Like, hold on, guys. Just because Matt's away doesn't mean this is going to be a free for all. <laughs> Bill, go ahead. What was it you were trying to say? <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I'm part of me, Ron. Don't talk over each other. <laughs> don't talk over each other. No. What's going on, guys? How are you? Nothing. You asked. The pod. You asked us to come up here. What I say, dude? I can't believe you did. I can't Drop believe everything. you got spud. Hmm? I'm. I've changed my entire mindset on this entire thing. Yeah. What? <laughs> so it's going to become a pro. I have to adjust to ride with Billy. Billy's going pro. I have to go Bill's wherever Bill goes. What? You're a pro now. Bill's oh. a pro now. I have to follow him around. Or I'm Anything him I do, I give 110%. Except your job. Huh? That you quit. <laughs> well, I was giving 110% until I started working. working. You quit your job? Yeah. yeah. He's a pro podcaster now. He's a really? Pro that's why he came up here. This, that's why you're dressed like this, dude. This, now no, I fucking see you, dude. You're the bro, 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 I said no on the jacket. That's sick. It's sick. Yo, it's sick. This is dad's jacket. Stop. It's stop, my dad. Stop. It's cool as fuck. I just it didn't know cool. you're a hipster like that. And it's cool. I think it looks God good. Damn. I think it looks cool. I think it looks sick. It's got the right Don't, stitching, yeah, the holes in the right places. Do this. You got the Justin Bieber boots. That's you, can't hit him. you can't hit him in the first minute with you this. You can't hit him in the first minute. Why are we already <laughs> talked about this? I think Billy will go down. Baby Billy will go down. You see, you just Terminator scan me to see what, what Baby it could Billy. be. Nah, I'm not, I, can't, I can't hate on anyone's sneaks, dude. It's just not me. Sneaks just aren't me. Sneaks just aren't me. I literally just I bought had, boots. I, sneaks are cool, though. I bought some Jim Green boots because I'm trying to get in. What do you think of these boots, bro? you think that, that I could pull those off or you think i need to get harder hands i don't think you need harder hands you need a big puffy jacket or something yeah, like that. that's, not, that's not us <laughs> uh but yes now you're a pro by damn bro <laughs> well, Dude, I, the fuck was that? I thought i was gonna come this in is, it's, it's fine i just show up and it's like hey this be is the why, heel this is why i said i don't want to do this be the heel stuff. this that's is why what I am. they were like don't mention his jacket don't mention his jacket he, and when I was you like, got he up can he handle. said i didn't know billy was a hipster we were both like don't I'm trying to protect baby Billy. Uh, yeah. Hipster, I'm just, these are clothes given to me by my father. <laughs> this is a free jacket given to me. It's a cool jacket. I, didn't I say enjoy it. it. No, it looks fucking sick. It. And I'm saying, I'm speaking out of insecurity, my own insecurity Dude, for not being able to dress well. You can just have flames? fun on a pot. What? Is that a Calgary Flames? I think it's like uh, Lancaster, Lancaster Flames or Ooh, some shit American like that. American Needle? <laughs> yeah, it's Man. American Eagle. It's American you, Apparel. No, American Needle. I think that's where, is that where the hat's from? No, my he, he <laughs> see. Himself. How did you know that? Huh? Huh? I look a good head. <laughs> uh, I don't look at me. I'm not fucking attacking you. I, think uh, you're I, doing am, great. I, I like am, your I outfit. Am, I'm, sorry. Fucking, I'm, I'm sorry. Fucking, I'm sorry. I guess fucking, it's different at Barstool. We're just like we just like having normal conversations. They, dude, Barstool can't do he was a so much different before we started attacking. Yeah. Before we started doing so nice. I was being so nice, but then I had to performatively be a dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean nothing by it. I'm sorry, dude. It's all good. We're down in Drunk Island's podcast room. <laughs> Don't call him. <laughs> what is happening, yeah. dude? We're going to have to See, delete now this. He's, now he's in the cage. 
Why can't we talk about anyone else? Spades here. That's fucking Spades sick. here. I'm very excited about that. <laughs> I might be on the way out, bro. Why? Why? I What's got on? my Snore Lab app, and I know that you're tired of hearing about it, but I think I need the CPAP machine. Yeah, he's, snor- he's oh. sawing logs hard as fuck. And and my, I need a every- CPAP machine. Dude, Dude, I die Dude, constantly. There's, a, there's an app Just, <laughs> that records <laughs> you sleeping. Dude. Dude. <laughs> it records you sleeping, and then you can listen back to you doing that. Oh, I can't. It's fucking hell, bro. It's chaos. Soda got one. 57% of Dude, me Soda's- sleeping. <laughs> oh, yeah, you were saying that. Seven put, hours put one of sleep. On. Let's listen to some Seven of your sleep. hours of sleep. Four you, you hours. You got of recordings? Snoring. Four hours of straight snoring. Is that bad? Yeah, dude. It's 57% of the night I'm snoring. <laughs> Song logs. <Yeah. laughs> I got to stay alive for Billy, dude. I, feel like I snore the whole time. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> Shane's doing the high pitch shit, though. Yeah, I'm doing what like, do like <laughs> No, what do you mean? How do you snore? It sounds like a balloon. I can play it for you. <laughs> yeah, let's, let's hear some <laughs> snoring. I snore just. <laughs> Slow death. <laughs> wake uh, yourself up sometimes. Up yeah. Look around. It's tough, but what can you even do about snoring? I feel like it's an irreversible problem. I'm gonna probably work on my health a little. Yo, yeah, if you have a BMI, <laughs> if you have a BMI between 25 and 30, you're fucked. That's why you're snoring. What? You gotta get the BMI under 25. <laughs> I have twi- well, why are you coming at Shane like that? I'm not coming. I have to say <laughs> he's, there too. he's there too. Why are you Brothers coming to me, dude? Now you're attacking me. He was not attacking me. I'm just me. hearing. I'm hearing. You made it an insult. I'm connecting dots, dude. I hear what he's Bro, saying. This isn't like you. <laughs> Look, this is one of your battle raps, all right? right. <laughs> we don't need to be mean to each oh, other. Oh, fuck, dude. I'm terrified of this guy yeah, now. He's oh, nice. Shit. No, it's because I got, I got another one cooking against the Asian play, dude. Sean. Can you hear it? I don't have headphones. That's me ripping, dude. It gets weird. Spade. That's a lot for. Uh, yeah, I'm little, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, yeah, yeah, yeah I'm a little I guy. Myself back. He's butt ass naked too. <laughs> butt ass naked too. <laughs> just, just exposed. You sleep ass naked? Oh yeah. Do you come every time before you go to sleep? Um, I try not to. <laughs> I'm trying to save my real. I'm on day like Wednesday to Wednesday. This yeah. is day seven. I Why drilled do you a hole. Keep doing this. Why do you I drilled a hole in my thumb. Worrying about your cum. so I can't fucking. I usually beat off left-handed because when I was young, my fucking dick was slightly curved at left, and I thought it was because I was using my right hand, so then I switched to my left, and it didn't fix it. He's neurotic. I just have a slight curve to the left on my penis. That's what I'm saying. Like, people think I'm not. He's Nothing crazy, off. just something cute, you know? <laughs> something to be remembered by. What? It's like a like a good imperfection, you know? Like the models have like a mole or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Like a Nike swoosh? Yeah, something sweet. No, no, not that hard, not that hard. Just like a... Just, is that if you're looking like a two by four? You're like, is that thing fucking straight? Like, well, I guess it isn't. It does at the top, I never knew this of, about you? Huh? I never knew this about you. Spade here. I hate hearing about anything. I hate hearing about your uh, sex, dude. Why? Because he hates. I've, he denies. I remember my him essence. when he was a win, dude. <laughs> you. So what? He's got a nice penis that goes to the left. I feel like yeah, that's, that's natural. I feel like that's normal. I think yeah. a lot of it's people. I just gotta get over it. It's just fucking weird. Why do you have a perfectly straight dick? No, he's it's sk- weird. I get ske- I, I get sketched out when Bill starts talking. Nah, to he's a bit of an elitist because yeah, I'm not he has an a elitist, dude. I'm just saying uh, that you were you're yeah, hooded up. You were mutilated, and I wasn't. I feel bad for you. Do you're you on know, demon time I with your dick, you, dude. I started, bro. <laughs> yeah. Yo, is a demon time guy like uh, conservative? I think so. Yeah, he put up a January six <laughs> demon time, and it like fired me up. I was like, yo, shit rules. <laughs> What's demon sick? time? Uh. It was pretty tough to explain, but I'll show oh, you yeah. this January 6th one. It's actually going to get you excited. It's just like a comp- like a fire-up compilation video, like a Friday beers type of thing. Like you just Storm the Capital. Storm the Capitol. Oh. Storm the Capitol. Yeah. Storm got no Capitol one. Dude, you can't use, it. You can't use a reference like that. Yeah, He's off all the apps? He has no... Dude, well, I never just really had phone. it. I just got rid of everything. He has an iPhone Pro Max 14. <laughs> Zero apps. I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. That's You'll worse, like it, though. worse than 9-11, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's demon time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of sweet. It's sweet. It's like yeah. nothing to it, really, but just something to enjoy it's from fun. time to time. I liked that video, though. It was just like, we yeah. can take that thing. And then the guy goes, and do what? <laughs> Cuss the dudes. It's They're fucking doing it for real in Brazil. Yeah, they are doing it for they real. They stormed it. Bolsonaro's in Orlando. He got poisoned. They tried to kill his ass. And then they're down there storming capitals, fucking everything up. What are they doing? Are they swimming in the pool and shit, or what? Lua. Uh, The dude who got elected is supposed to with all the communists and the uh, drug dealers. So they're spazzing the fuck out. 
Damn, bro. What side are we on, dude? I'll side up. Billy Bolsonaro, obviously. <laughs> wasn't wasn't, wasn't Bolsonaro a uh, right wing guy? Yeah. They were saying he was like a fascist. Uh, you they know. were just calling him that. This is a cheap shot. I know. I know. Dude, that I, can't I stop thinking about that shit you were telling me about the soccer teams. What about them? The soccer teams in Europe have political oh, yeah. things like Barcelona is communist. <laughs> I don't I don't really remember what he was saying. He was just saying he was just like the Jews are setting me up. Like yeah. they might have. Do you remember fair. when Barkley got a DUI? What did he say? <laughs> what did he say? He was like, he's like, I'm be honest, like, officer, like, I'm going to get my dick sucked yeah. right now. And like, if you ever got your dick sucked by this bitch, you understand why I'm driving right now. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, Barkley is the fucking greatest. He's, he's the, the king, best. Dude. He's the best of all. He just time. got points this week. Was that? He, did you see him? Uh, I don't know where he was, but he was like, "If you're gay or you're trans, I love you." And then he trended on Twitter for saying that. Barkley said that. Yeah, we got to say that on our show. <laughs> <guys. laughs> I mean, we, I feel it already, but we have to say. How the fuck did Barkley say that? I don't know. It just why are you so upset, week. bro? <laughs> What's wrong with that? Dude, that's not Why my chuck, so dude. <laughs> my chuck wouldn't do that shit. He's he used to be a Republican. Chuck Remember? fucking rules. I think he threw a guy through a fucking window. Yeah. <laughs> through a pane glass window. He's a legend. Cleveland. This is a la- the latest evolution in his thinking. He might be like, yo, if you're gay or trans, I love you. He might. He probably has like a gay cousin now. And he's like, fuck. He probably just had a montage of shit he's done in the past. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It is, it is crazy. Dudes. It's such an old man thought, but you walk around and it's like, fuck, were there like, was like everybody trans and no. they just didn't have permission to do trans until like two years ago? No, yeah. It was just a like, lot of them. In, in Brooklyn, yeah. It's no, spiked. Even Has you it go spiked elsewhere. like 400% or something? <laughs> I, I, I think it's spiked I haven't like a seen lot. The I think in, <laughs> with kids, with I children, it's spiked quite a bit. I think the children yeah. have been trans and hard. The children are. That'd be fun though. If you're eight, I'm like, I'm going to be a girl. Yeah. I yeah. want huge tits. I want to be a big. If your bimbo. parents are being mean to you, I you know. just for like, my I'm seventh a girl. birthday, I want to get bimbo fied. <laughs> <laughs> I want a huge. See a brat stall laying on your sister's you, floor. You you're know, just like, I want to be that fucking if, brat stall. Dude. If you would have, <laughs> I want to fuck that brat stall so bad. I want to become her. Dad, <laughs> I want to be Latina. Do they have <laughs> brat stalls? Do they have I want to be a big booty Latina. What do children's <laughs> toys look like now? Because they can't do. Stop dolls. it! You're getting me fucking hard. <laughs> I feel like like your dolls are you're, you know that's like a minefield right to make dolls yeah yeah you can't make it sexy is. toys anymore yeah it's got to all be puzzles <laughs> it's got to be those shit toys from the Discovery Channel yeah, store yeah. a puzzle with like, like all chains that are stuck that together like, yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That, so what so, the fuck is that? that's a good toy yeah so you have a son and he's, you can play with it for ten seconds yeah you do this twice the what. Whatever that thing was, gift shop, gift shop to like that science museum, thing. gift shop toys, the thing that expands, the little like sea slug kind of thing that yeah. you put your finger in. I used to love those. Those are good. You could put your dick in that. Yeah, you know, mood True. ring. Yeah. Mood rings are tight. Yeah. What? So you have a kid. You have a boy. You was my favorite <laughs> from the gift shop as a kid. Giant penny from the Smithsonian. Oh yeah. I love giant that. coin. That's a good gift. Yeah. Where they like mash it. You got crank it. Like, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. Not one of those. They make like coasters. Mm-hmm. It's like a big. Oh, it's like shit. A big, yes, of course. It's like I a big those. penny or yeah. a quarter. Wow. Yeah. You All know, right. if I said that. You'd be, I would I, mean, I would be I in your that. corner 100%. This is a new era. <laughs> this is an Adam Friedland show. Let me, get, most... let me get your take on this. So if you, yeah. you, had a, if you had a son, your son trans, and he's like, I Dad, I, I don't know what I'm doing. You have full design of my female body. What would you do? Oh, how would, I get you, to how, would you, how would you mod them out? Um, I would probably try to make them look like the woman that I've cheated on his mother with, <laughs> and use that as like a power play towards her. Mm-hmm. Fuck that! I get yeah. I get him Jack's arms, <laughs> metal <laughs> arms, <laughs> but he, and he's like, "How is that more yeah. like a woman?" Yeah, and I'm just be like. It's just tight. Just yeah. hand him a You're picture fun of with Sonya this. Blade. <laughs> yeah, just be like Doc. Yeah, I'm gonna make him Laura Croft. Do your best. Yeah. I want square titties. My son <laughs> needs to have the tightest pussy, Doc. Do what I would you go can. high pussy. High really? pussy? Like up, high up, up here. Where the dick, right exactly pussy? where so the they dick can is. Still, yeah, so they can still <laughs> fuck. You know what I mean? Because it's like, I want you to be dominant. You're not going to be laying on your back. <laughs> that was that fucked. Marlon Wayans <laughs> bit <laughs> that we... You Mar- oh, I'm sorry. I'm, am I stealing Marlon <laughs> Wayans? No, no, no. no. Pussy? Remember when we were in the cabin, we watched, we watched his special... <laughs> Yeah, and he did some demented thread about like his son, <laughs> his son being gay, or and then 
And then I don't know where it was going. And then finally it got to where it was going. And it was that he wanted him to fuck ass. Mm hmm. No, like, he that, that's that's my boy because he's fucking ass. Yeah, I think that's in like the standard black comic toolkit. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> if, my, if my son gay, he fu- he the one. I got to him. introduce my lady to Tom Myers this past week. That's awesome. Oh my he, god, he was. I went to Magoobies. And they announced that I was coming to Magoobies, and Tom fucking smashed me on the comments. He was mm-hmm. like, "I hope you guys have Chinese food." <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> that's what I, this what I love, him, Tom. This is what I love. Him. This is what I love about Tom. Don't hurt him. This is what I love about Tom. Is that like it's like a it's just it's it's schizophrenic because <laughs> so it doesn't funny. make any sense. What do you mean? So Chinese people are going to come to the show, <laughs> even though he's racist against it's Chinese so funny, people? Dude. It doesn't make any sense. So then I got to show we. we we listened, dude, on the drive back from Pittsburgh this past week. We listened to "Make America Innate Again." Yeah, the whole way, fire. amazing. The whole way through, uh-huh. it was, it's fucking crazy, mm-hmm. dude. And the, the, Ian was in the back seat. He was the one asking for it. Finance was like, yeah. "Let's listen, let's listen to it." Mm-hmm. By the way, dude, you guys ever do a weekend with him? No. Uh, oh boy, that's tough. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, I can imagine. Come on, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Shut the fuck up. He dude. loves living in the moment. He's he such does. a little cocksucker because yeah. it'll get me. <laughs> he is. He's like he's like he's like if the like the the live laugh love signs yeah. had like alcohol spilled on them in some sort of radioactive lab <laughs> and then a person came out of that. He gets me too. I'll be I'll be at the cellar and I'll be like, hey, hey like you got any like I'll be like, Yeah, come on the road with me, dude. It'll be fun. And he's like, Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate mm-hmm. it. The second he gets in the car, he's farting. Yeah. He's like, what? You're not. He just becomes a fucking monster. Last time I saw him, he's like, hear me out. You give come town to me and Mike Racine. I do it in my apartment. You and Adam keep a percentage of the money and we make it a new thing that's amazing. Be and like, Ian. I mean, just he give, wanted, yeah. And I was like, <laughs> how about you guys give us your yeah, thing? So how about hear me out? <laughs> give me your podcast. <laughs> Hello, sharks. Yeah. yeah. Damn. No, I, I don't want to be mean to Ian, obviously. No, we He's love a good guy. Ian rules. Yeah, you can't we be love mean to him. But, man, that's a lot. High energy. Me and his energy don't match. High energy. Yeah. He's just very optimistic, but yeah. optimistic in a way where it's like he has to be to hold so himself So he doesn't do together. drugs. Yeah. yeah. You know, so it's Absolutely. like. Absolutely. Like, this is your journey. Yeah. Like there's that there's nothing to do with me. I don't need to be super excited about going to Panera Bread. <laughs> he, kept, he kept asking for Scott to be his intro music yeah. some band. I kept yeah, he did going back Caroline's. to the sound booth and say, make sure it's it's raining, man. <laughs> <laughs> and he didn't know I was the one doing it. And he was like they keep playing it's raining men. <laughs> what the fuck is this guy's problem? <laughs> so he was so mad at the sound. I was funny. like, turn it the whole way up and get it to right where it's, it's raining. <laughs> it was so loud. There you go. He's like, what the fuck? I told him to play it. He knows, he knows every fucking bullshit band you've never heard of. Yeah. Really? That's the conversation. That's it every time. Yeah. How many ska bands are there, though? Mighty Mighty Ballstones. Yeah, that's one of them. Real Big Fish. Real Big Fish. No doubt. Does that count? That kind of does. Yeah. Yeah.